Welcome to the Backrooms Lost Tape. Now, if you don't already know, this is a Backrooms game, and I've been meaning to play this for like over a year. I never got around to like playing it, so let's just select the tape. Are you sure you will lose any save progress? I have no save progress, this is my first time playing. Play the tape of Josh. Uh, there's about four unknown tapes here, unavailable all of them. Maybe we have to do this one first. So this is probably Josh's experience with the backrooms. Can't see. All right, hey boss. As you can see, the um, the people were able to clean up the place, and I was able to help. Really, um, really good. Uh, that one spot that was really bad. Uh, I don't. That may be an exception, but uh, everything else is clean. Um, as you can see right here, I'll be moving around here a little bit to show you. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but I'll go to room one soon. Just wanted to let you know. God dang it. What? A stupid line. What? what? Huh? Hey, who turned that on? Back on command? <laughs> Every single time we what? We just fell into the back room. <sighs> well, as expected. Whoa, this is this looks really realistic. Where? Hello? Anyone here? Hello? So it looks like we worked at a cinema. We got a flashlight. Press E to interact with notes and objects. Press Q to shout. I don't know if I want to do that in the back rooms, man. Press N to open your notepad. I'm going to use this notepad to make some annotations of some possible clues about how to escape from this place. And we've got 10 whole pages. We had that with us. And there's a note here. Let's see what this says. Solitude is one of the greatest obstacles a wanderer can face. It is something beyond our control. Something that eats away at us, little by little, killing the unwary before they even realise it. It is, I dare say, our deepest fear. That is why it should not come as a surprise that this cursed place, as we now call home, has found a way to take advantage of humanity's inherent need for companionship. And then looks like a six digit code. The second last digit is six, so I might want to write that down in my notepad. Okay, there we got, we'll, we got that down. So I'm guessing we'll find more and more notes, and then we'll be able to fill that out, and it'll be the code to something. And we can run, which is good. This actually looks real. So what's this random gap doing here? Can I fit? No, a big liminal space, just as how the backrooms is. So it looks like we worked at a cinema, and it was actually clean for once. Until the TV turned on, and it said something about the backrooms. And then we no clipped into the backrooms, like pretty much every backrooms game, or any backrooms related media. We've got a bunch of tools here and wires. For what? We haven't got a socket, we haven't got electricity, and we've got soda cans. Has someone been here? Looks like they have. I'm writing this letter in the hope that it will be found someday. Maybe by someone who finds me here or finds this letter. I don't know if I'm crazy or if I'm dead, but this place doesn't seem to belong in this world. I've seen things here that I can't describe. I ended up here while doing some graffiti around town. And now I'm here with my backpack and my only white spray. This place is huge, so I'm leaving markings on the wall for myself or anyone else who might come down here. I have read some letters from other people and it seems that this place has multiple floors. There are hostile creatures here too. And while I've seen some things, I didn't have the courage to approach them. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here and will mark on the walls or update this note with what I find, provided I don't get lost in this place. If you find notes, please don't take them so that others can be saved too. There is a big riddle in this place. Find the notes as they contain some information. That information is the code. So this guy here is probably dead since he has an updated note. He says something about a white trail because he's still got a spray paint, but that will eventually run out as well, won't it? Oh, we've got an arrow here. Yeah, that was a spray paint. There's a green light there. The backrooms is like millions and millions of miles long, apparently. So I don't think he'll be using that spray paint for very long. He's death most certainly not alive. What is this chair doing here? You can crouch as well. This is the green light. And there's more arrows leading to down there. Well, what is this? <laughs> Sorry. This is a bit random. Timeout corner. Didn't know they had the preschool down here. What does this note say? The chairs are dangerous. 
Well, that's one way to make you feel uneasy. You can't jump. I went up to that chair previously, though, back there, and that wasn't dangerous. So I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, now it's a red light. Do I want to go down there, though? Zone B. Look, there's more chairs. That one's knocked over. And they're placed around this red and white tape. Why, though? Are they really that dangerous? First aid kit. Can I pick that up? Nah. You know, if I encounter a monster, I doubt I'm going to make it out alive. There's no point bringing that with me. I'm just going to get eaten. So what is with the red light? And where are the hostile creatures? There's another hole down there I can go. What is this radio sound? It's coming from that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, last digit is five. Let me write that down in my notepad. Five. Just four more digits to go, and we'll have the whole code unlocked. Plant here as well. Is this fake or real? And also this whole area is, there's a bunch of pillars and wood. It looks man-made. Okay, and another hole We're meant to go down. What's that? Are those mushrooms? Can I pick them up? Can I possibly eat them? I hope they're not the other type of mushrooms. This leads to another place. There is a strange humidity in this place and the carpet is wet in this part. It seems to come from this white area which gave rise to these mushrooms. I was very hungry, so I ate one of them. Now my body won't stop itching, and I have so many bruises, even on my head. Okay, so I think it's best we don't eat the mushrooms, no matter how hung hungry we are, or else we'll get the same effects, or even worse. I saw the store open one time, when the lights were red. Oh, is there gonna be red rooms here? So am I gonna have to, like, activate it, and then I'm gonna have to run back here? I've seen the red rooms before. It's like a part of level zero, when level zero really starts to get dangerous. I'm guessing that's the objective. But how far away is the red rooms? And there's another arrow pointing this way. So I'm guessing this is where I go. It's a big open liminal space, you know? You can't see what's at the end of these hallways, and it just leaves it up to your mind to make up or just imagine what could be there. Something on the ground. And there's something back there as well. It looks like another note. Let's see what this is first. A bowl? Soil? So is this how we grow the plants? Are the entities planning to make their own ecosystem in here? There's nothing here. All these random wolves. Oh, I've seen this before. Deja vu area. This is your first time here. If this area feels familiar, immediately alert foundation staff. If you see something, say something. SCP Foundation. Yeah, this is from like a trailer, I swear. I've seen this poster before. I can confirm this is not my first time here. And what staff is there to communicate? If you're talking about the hostile creatures here, then I think they're going to gobble me up before I even get a chance to utter one word to them. So that's out of the question. I guess I just got to deal with it myself. That's like for storage. This as well. This looks like the storage racks under these yeah it is it's for the storage racks look we've got the actual storage racks here we've got a lot of them though but there's nothing that's being stored here another arrow what's under here hello whoa what is this machine is this to like get out the back rooms oh wait i can zoom in someone had to have built this will this get transported from the outside world can i climb this no what is here that i can interact with huh Okay, My name I, is I turned that on. Scientist and lead researcher at SCP. I'm recording this message to record the success in the task of shutting down the generator at this location, allowing that metal door to open. The problem is, apparently this brought something from another dimension. I created a password so that the generator doesn't turn off by accident. When deciding to enter the password to be able to access another dimension, whatever it is, be prepared to run for your life. Oh, what does that say? So, this is what can, like, transport you out of here. Enter password. I only got two digits. You're gonna have to find more. Uh, the password to access this computer is scattered all around this place. I was able to find the first number, which is nine. I hope this helps you if I can't escape this place. Just three more digits to go. Did I just see something? Oh! Yeah, it was a fake exit, that's what it was. Alright, we haven't really gone past this bowl before, so we might find new stuff here. Like, the arrow's pointing this way. Have I seen that arrow before? This is like the beginning, the very beginning. Wait, no. We haven't seen this. Oh, don't scare me like that, man. What business do you have here? Huh? I think it was meant to scare me. 
Like if I was going this way. But I went the other way. Anyways. Three is the third. Okay, so what that means is three is in the third place. I think we just really need one more digit to go. Because I'm sure we can just guess the last one. Oh, we haven't seen this now. I took the computer monitor that was here to the lab. Since the one in the lab was apparently broken. My legs and feet hurt because I walked so much while carrying these things. I hope I can finish this because it may be the only way out of this place. I connected the computer to the laboratory module so that I can access the generator, but the problem is that it is requesting a password. I think I'll be stuck here forever. Well, no, because like you die out of hunger in like a few days or so, so you won't be stuck here forever. <gasps> oh, you know the game's scary when you get scared by a plant. Oh. What am I? Well, I'm a prophet, and I foresee a new world. Will you be a part of it? Ah, what a useless note. This is a new set of arrows. Is that that have you seen this man thing? Fire extinguisher. Where is the fire extinguisher? Ever dream this man? No, I have not seen that man before. Every night, all over the world, hundreds of people see this face in their dreams. If this man appears in your dreams too, or if you have any information that can help us identify him, Please contact us. What a stupid looking face. They cast eyebrows though. Chairs are dangerous, they said. And when they fill a whole room with them, that's extra dangerous. But what I can see here is there's another note. New note means new clues. Caution, safety glasses required. Hello, I am an astronaut. I honestly don't know how I got here. I just remember that my spaceship malfunctioned and I had to get out of it to fix it. Unfortunately, my safety equipment broke and I thought I was already dead. I wandered in space for a few hours when suddenly I felt as if gravity had suddenly returned. And here I am in this gigantic place that seems infinite. I'm leaving this letter in case anyone else falls here or is already here and can find me in case I'm still alive. Important, I found some letters from other people here which mention other levels, possibly floors or dimensions of this place. Some say that they have already passed through specific floors, including numbered ones. For example, this one is apparently called Level Zero. From what I've read in the other letters, getting out of here will be difficult. It seems that is something to be unraveled. I discovered one of the numbers. Nine is the first. I already know what that is, though. So this guy no-clipped in space. Oh, there's another note here. I don't understand why they don't just leave the entire password on a single note. I think no one has discovered it yet. Or maybe whoever discovered it died. Or maybe we should hide the answer from someone. What I do know is that eight is probably the second number. Probably. How do you? How do we know this? Though? How do all of these people know what digits they are? So we know. We know that. We can just guess it now. Eight. So we can go back. Chairs are dangerous. My ass. In fact, I'll sit on it with my ass. Can I jump down? Okay. So one. Okay. I got it. Oh yeah. Is this an SCP game or a backrooms game or like a combination of both? Like a mixture of two universes. So now what is this gonna? Is this thing gonna start up? Where do I go now? So I think the red rooms is a thing, cause back there it said it needed to be red to open for some reason. So if you just go, what the hell? So there is red room. <gasps> what the hell? Is it another code? I saw that creature. No. 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 No, 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 where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh my god, where the hell am I going? Get out of here. Get out. I'm out of breath. No, this is no time to run. You are getting chased by the monster of your nightmares. This is nowhere near an appropriate time to run. Go. Get out of here. You have no time to waste dawdling around. Come on, you know you're better than this. <gasps> the mushrooms. Yes. Are we finally out of this mess? It's open. Yes. Hopefully you can't go through there. No running. I do whatever I want, man. Who cares? <gasps> a shadow. It's a mannequin, isn't it? See? See? <coughs> oh, I don't do that. A shower? <gasps> is it still chasing after me? I feel like it is. <gasps> oh, my God. Just keep running. A pool. Ah, it's so... This is horrifying. Get me in, get me in, get me in. Triangle ass elevator, man. It's a bit strange, isn't it? With the little cloudy patterns. Okay, that was a really scary sequence. 
That may have been the scariest chase sequence I've ever had in a horror game. I've seen this level before. We've got a bunch of pipes and stuff. Could this be the pool rooms? You know, because it's related to water. I always feel like I see something in the distance, but it's nothing. Just making sure no one's behind me. Oh, uh, is that more red I see? Trust me. Oh! <laughs> okay. That startled me. There's more red, but is there anywhere else to go? I hope there's no, not like a monster. In there. Get my ass in here. I'm out. Okay, so we're just walking through a straight line. Now. Nothing really happened. Now where am I? The pool rooms. Oh, how relaxing. Oh my god. You've got the water sounds and everything. It's outside. Just clouds and clouds and we look like we're high up in the sky. Man, what are these? These are insane graphics. There's seats for lifeguards, but there's no lifeguards. And they wouldn't even have enough room because look, the ceiling's just glass, or is it? I can't remember if the pool rooms were safe or not. No, pool rooms, I'm pretty sure is safe. There's just a certain part where it gets dark and that's dangerous. But we won't be lingering around in the pool rooms any longer because we're gonna take the elevator to another level, which is hopefully not creepy. Oh no, we're still in the pool rooms. That's fine, because I actually kind of like the pool rooms. Well, we're pretty high up. We can't go down, but we can keep going forward. And we can just admire the scenery. I must be dreaming. I mean, you can pinch yourself, but I don't think pinching yourself is gonna really do anything. Like, I never really find it helps. Like, in a dream, pinching myself, I always just know I'm a loser dreamer. Is there some sort of blimp in the background? Yeah, I bet this guy really wants to go back to working in the cinema, you know? That cinema felt like a backrooms level. That was really liminal. A lantern. I mean, I don't just see why you'd need a lantern. It's bright as hell out here. I hope it doesn't get dark or anything. I hope it just stays like this forever. What? This can't be heaven. Who wrote that? Oh, of course. The music changed as soon as I had to stumble across this. This place is so hot. The layouts are just really random. Just take a good look at this. It's so random, but so well designed at the same time. You ever remember these in school? Or just in the park? Some random scribbly painting. I bet that thing was sold for like billions. Oh. I called it, man. Oh, it's just this part that's dark. That's relieving. It, it feels more like a walking simulator. Nothing's really happening. You're not going around looking for stuff. You can't swim in the water. I guess my character can't swim. Oh, so that is really deep. It's the elevator. Are you finally going to be in another level? Okay, let's close that. Close that up. Not here again. I thought I was finally free, and look, we've already got the red rooms back. There is no escape. And is that a day counter? I don't want to be here any longer. I don't like this place. How about I go back? You know what? Sure. We'll give it a shot. Another elevator. Let me in here. Oh. Oh damn, I feel like my frame rate just dropped a bit. That is real grass, no. This is a recording of real life. I don't care what you say. And there's just these random red bits. What am I meant to do? What's the deal with these red things? The elevator's there, but what is this? Sounds are coming from it. It's disappeared. Should I do that with all of them? So this game doesn't seem like a jump scare overload. It's more about making you feel uneasy. So we just walk into these red lights and they disappear. Now, assuming because that elevator wouldn't open, we can just collect all of these and then it would just open like that. There's probably one like within, oh, the happy music. I knew the vibe was different as soon as we heard that. And we've got these random gnome islands statues in the ocean and what's with this ever expanding square gulping up all the clouds why is it doing that is that the time limit i don't know it's just so strange look i look down at resets and it's not there anymore it looks like it's made of cardboard so there has to be something in one of these houses right i've heard though that this place has has like a oh we can go in here why this 
Oh, this one of the white trails. What the hell? As I was saying, what is that growl? Is it just gonna transition back to normal? What the hell? Yeah, as I was saying, I heard that this stage does the thing where it goes like all dark and that's when it gets dangerous. Like, end day is friendly and all, but at night, oh, there's a chiming sound coming from this place. Is this where I'm meant to go? Maybe I should start skipping some of these houses because they really have nothing in them. Where's the elevator though? That's what I want to see. Is that staring like a riot at me? Are they always doing that? No, it doesn't. Wait, is it still staring at me? No, I think that thing is staring at me. Or is it just an illusion? Did I trigger something just by walking in this house? These houses all have white trails, so that means the guy was there. <gasps> That's what I was talking about! They look like Moabs! They are Moabs, I think. This house is shining. Am I meant to go in here? They are Moabs, aren't they? Yep, let me in here. Daisy, Daisy. Yeah, I've heard this before like a million times. Finally out of that place. And oh, not level zero again. Or is this a different one? What's down here in this hole? I want to go down there, but there's also a green light. We could go here. As long as there's no monsters. Right? Right? This is going to be nothing. A microwave? A TV? And the lock horror? In circulation. The snail drug. We advise for you to stay away from any person suspected to be under its influence. For the past few months, we have received over 500 deaths related huh? to the drug. The drug itself has not been scientifically investigated. Its most obvious effects are mania, uncontrollable laughter, violent tendencies, and the latched snail in which the drug was named after. How do you ensure your safety outside? Avoid dark alleys since most reported deaths happened near or in a dark alley. If you hear suspicious laughter, run as fast as you can. Avoid eye contact with the person. Once the person notices you, it will begin pursuit. Do not interact. You will most likely be- Huh, is that the end? No? Small. Is that it? Initial observation. Substance is made of spores from an unidentified species of fungus. That was the mushrooms, like back there, was it? Risk of accidental intake is very high. So is it true that I've already... Wait, that guy has already had the mushroom. The notes. Patient one, patient two. And now is it going to show a picture of them smiling? Wait, brought on... I, I... Complaining of a severe headache and... Fa acute what? None of the medicine helped. They were taken to the laboratory for observation. Stage one, week one. Oh, now they're smiling. Patients begin to smile with some resistance. Yeah. Patients suffered meningitis before subsiding within two days. Patients remain sane. I don't think that looks sane to me. I don't know what your idea of sane is. Stage two, week two. Well, now they're smiling a lot more. Any resistance have been subdued by the fungus. Faces begin to contort to a wide grin. How, how does your face even go like that? Patient's behavior becomes predatory. So that's what the guy had who wrote the notes. He had one of the mushrooms. Yeah, manic laughter begins. Oh, don't do that. Is there something behind me? Patients were then locked in a room. This could be like an analog horror in itself. Stage 3, week 4. Oh. 
Fungus has permanently damaged facial tissue. Leaving a severely contorted face. Despite extensive nerve damage, the fused muscles maintain its expression. That's creepy. If ever the patients recover. A face transplant is required for reintegration. The vocal cords have stopped functioning due to extreme strain. Patient's behavior uh, and motor functions began to decline towards the later part of the stage. Stage four, week five. Still going. Rapid senescence visible in patients. Where's the other one? In patients. Did he eat the other one? Patient has completely lost resemblance from past self. That's terrifying. Brain is in the late Alzheimer's stages. Patient 2 did not live up to this stage. Oh, he died before he could do that. So are these patients like one of these? Are these the guy who wrote the notes? Patient was has passed away six weeks into admission. To this admission. Autopsy. Fungus found in brain cells. That was the mushroom. Does that mean I'm infected as well? Because I walked across it. It was observed secreting a s substance similar to... I didn't see. High concentrations of the fungus found in amyloid. Yeah, suggesting complete control over it. 30 minutes into the autopsy. A sudden burst of gas came out of the patient's mouth. What was initially thought to be gas was figured to be spores of the fungus. Ooh. Two horticians were present in the room. They may have inhaled the spores. They have been quarantined. Uh, that does not sound good. Is this analog horror, SCP or backrooms? It does a good combination of all of them. This is unnerving. Is there something here? That... Just stopped my heart from beating. Go and go away. Is it a mannequin? It's peeking. It's still not going away. I'd expect it to like duck or something. Like another one of your stupid expensive artworks. What a waste of money, you know. Oh, it was a balloon. Let me guess, one of them's gonna pop now. Oh! I called it, I expected it, and I still got scared. No, no, no. Please be another balloon. It is. Can I jump down? No, I can't. Does that mean I'm going to have to go this way? Yeah, this is a dead end. So I have to go that way. I'm guessing that hole back there at the very beginning would have been a dead end as well. After all, what's the worst that could happen? Lost. Okay, one of those kiddie little carpet things. And some toys. Who brought that kid here? This is no place for a child. Listen, your child is going to be traumatized within a matter of minutes. Look, they got a whole playground here. And a slide. Yo, I feel like I've seen that slide before in my dream. Oh, it's so dark. That's why you need your flashlight on. Or else you're not going to see. Am I meant to walk up the slide? Yeah, that's that's what I'm meant to do. Let's venture into the unknown. Oh, shoot. Event. Not event, but just a tight, crawly space. And I hear a sound. Is it something unwinding? Like a jack-in-the-box. A baby! Are you gonna make sound? <laughs> Please don't. These are pretty much like jump scares, like mini jump scares to startle you. That's just another balloon. It's not a head. They've done that intentionally. Do not pop. <gasps> oh, stop it, man! Every single time. It's so predictable, yet it's just high. If this place was a real thing and I was here, can I get up? Can I stop crouching? What's back here though? They actually let you explore here as well. There's nothing there, but it just makes it ever so more creepy. I gotta admit, this does this game does a great job of setting the atmosphere. This is having me tense. A bit tense. Really tense. Can I jump down? 
Yeah, I can't. Small ass tents. If that makes a sound, if that rolls, I'm going to flip out. Tight ass hallways. I can just keep running, you know. And nothing's going to be there. I have lost all sense of fear. Nothing's going to be behind me, right? This is a walking simulator. Like, after that last chase scene. But it's a pretty good one. A slide. Oh, we actually get to go down it. How nice. And it just smoothly transitions back into gameplay. Which way do I go? Dude, this is just like a really unpleasant place. It doesn't look like there's anything back here. What a waste of my time. Hello? Maybe it's not a waste of my time because I hear something. What is up here? Oh, I thought I saw a head. Can I peek inside? So that was the sound I was hearing up there. Whatever. What's with the red light, man? Don't just pull out red lights because I find it scary. Oh, red light, scary. Make me scared. Don't tell me to be scared. <gasps> it's a bit late to say this, I feel, but I heard this was like one of the best backrooms games on Steam. I had to try it out, man. This game looked really good when I first saw it. And it did not disappoint. I just gotta say. I hear an ambience, but it's not a scary ambience. It's a good one. Oh no, don't tell me level fun. <gasps> This cluster flip of a level. This better not be. <laughs> yeah! Let's party! Daisy! Daisy! So, what am I meant to do? There's nothing else I can really do. I might have to go through a whole level fun, or is this the end? Am I just meant to walk towards it? Hey, you know how we're friends, party goer? Oh, did I just no clip back into existence? Continue. Oh. Ooh. Was that it? Or was that just Josh's tape? Tape recorded in 1985. Found in 2035. Josh was not found yet. <gasps> oh, that was a really good game. There wasn't really any any jump scares oh, in that. Except maybe they had a jump scare for if you die. But anyways, that's it for the game. The graphics were amazing. And overall, i got to give that game an 8.3 out of 10. It was good, but it wasn't the perfect backrooms game. It was really enjoyable though. So anyways, that's it. Goodbye.